Hi everybody, today is October 9th, 2014. It's probably about 8.35 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Here's an update what's going on at Yellowstone. This here is the borehole at Yellowstone Lake. And you notice about 6 o'clock Mountain Time started to have some activity. Some unusual events going on. We have magma movement, we got cracking, fracking of the caldera and a large spike in gases. Here's the spectrogram at Grant. This spike in gases showed up at all the monitors that they're monitoring for gases across the park. Here's the spectrogram for the Madison River area. This was a release of sulfur dioxide, carbon and hydrogen, ancient helium, and methane. This is Yellowstone Lake. You'll see that spike right there. and there it is there. This is Grant. You can see the spike there. Now this chart is for the 8th. This is actually yesterday. And here's the spectrogram. It shows it again. So we probably won't be able to see what's going on today until tomorrow. And this is Norris Junction. Same thing. So this is Grant. It goes from Universal Time from you know actually what they would call yesterday until um, late evening. But there was two several large quakes up in China and I don't know if it was those quakes or the one they had in Colorado but you see right there there's the magma movement. That's probably the spike that we're seeing on the charts. That one was for Grant. This is for Norris Junction area and we'll come down. Don't really see much going on other than a couple little small quakes. Because this thing is set at what? 400 microvolts. Here we got Yellowstone Lake. And the machine stopped working. There's the magma that I'm talking about. And the machine actually shut down at the time this event started happening. Yellowstone Lake, the two quakes, and there's the magma movement. This is today for Maple Creek. You can see the magma movement is continuing. Some small little quakes. And this is the borehole at the lake. There was another event right through here. And of course right there. And this is Yellowstone Lake today. When I seen this it's like wow. This is a lot of activity. All the straight lines are magma movement. And there's that event there and the other event there. This is the little west thumb of the park. You can see there's activity going on. This here is Snow King Mountain. There's the two quakes where the magma started affecting the park. This is the closest monitor they have outside the park that I've been able to find. The monitor actually stopped working. And this is what's going on now. And it's showing it to almost uh, 145 universal time. And this is Lewis and Clark. This is up north of the park. That's magma movement there. And this is from earlier. If you can see through all the noise, the magma movement, see how it goes up and down, up and down. Now at 149 universal time, there was a 3.1 earthquake in Colorado. It was shallow. It was only two miles deep. Also yesterday at Old Faithful there was a 1.0 and a 0 0.6 and this one they're saying 0, 0 so I don't know. But this 1.0 earthquake they had yesterday at 1546 Universal Time was shallow. It was only 1.9 miles in depth. So not only are the monitors delayed by about two hours there at the park. For some reason they're not posting the earthquakes that they're having at the park even on the USGS website until the following day if they do at all. But I wanted you to be aware of what's going on. We won't see the new charts until tomorrow. We'll probably see a large spike in gases tomorrow that's been released and hopefully that's all. So now it's almost 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.